To my surprise, New Type HQ sent me a package. Originally, I was just expecting some decals from a Korean company. Turns out, New Type sent me a huge box. So I ripped it open. And here was what was inside. Not only two pretty sweet Sinanju stickers that I can put inside of my airbrush booth, but the complete set for the Yakushiki Anchor T or Anchor T, whichever you prefer to call it, conversion kit. This is the bundle offered by New Type HQ. This kit has been out of stock for me for the past couple months. I've been trying to get one and I couldn't. Thank God New Type gave me one for free. Can you believe it? Now that service, this site has supported me since I started my YouTube journey with Gunpla when no other Gunpla site would touch me. And any name you could think of, I spoke to them about my reach and my channels. They had no interest. You know, they were like, oh, that's nice. Congratulations on 100K subscribers. Like I was just some butt plug. And it's like, I'm more popular than anyone you have representing you. It's like Michael Jordan in his prime not being able to get on any NBA team. And New Type HQ fully supports me, which is absolutely fantastic considering how I'm used to being shunned in many communities. Let's get back to this. It is a full Anchor T set. That means you get the Hyakushiki version 2.0 Bandai kit. You get the Hyakushiki conversion kit. You get the Hyakushiki hands. You get the conversion double shields. You get the metal base and the metal parts. I don't think they offer a heavy weapons kit anymore. The weird thing is when this originally was shown, you could get the full kit for $200. You could also just get the main body for like, I can't remember, like 90. And then there was the strike version, which was 150 bucks. I can't seem to find any of that anymore. They used to sell everything separately. So I think now it all comes in one package. Now, the reason why the price is uh, $419, I'll break it down for you. Cause some people are just like, it's overpriced. The kit itself is $200. The metal parts is another extra $20, depending on where you can get it, usually $25 or more. Uh, the metal base, another $17 to $25. I can't remember anymore because I can't find the metal base for it, weirdly enough. The entire kit on its own, the resin conversion kit, $200. I didn't know the hands were sold separately. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I, I can't really find any information on that. So basically, once you add this all up, plus shipping from overseas, and I highly recommend when you're importing resin kits to pay the extra money for express shipping. Do not cheap out, really don't. Because if you do, sometimes your stuff gets sent to you damaged. I've been there before. And sometimes it just gets lost in the mail for like two months. When you pay express shipping, it gets to you on time. And express shipping, depending on which vendor you buy from, will run you anywhere from 50 to $75 extra. So, Factor that in, and essentially you're near the same price. I'd say you're running around $370 if you were to try and get all of this on your own. If you can source it, that's the thing. The beauty of New Type HQ is it's all in one bundle. It'll be sent to you within the United States. You can get it within a week. New Type HQ is the exclusive vendor for the Anchor T resin kits in America. And you may go, well, if it's 370, why do they offer for 419? Remember, there's a price premium for this importation stuff. They have to make some sort of profit. Every model kit you buy is priced like that. Like, look at the perfect grade Fennec's Gundam. Everywhere you look in America that offers it, it's almost $1,000. It's like eight. But if you can get on the reserve for it from P. Bandai's website, when they do them once a year or once every two years, it's like four or $500. It's a price premium for the vendor. It's in everything you deal with in life, to be honest. So that's the price point. That's why it's like that. I hope you understand. While opening the box as usual, Anchor T's presentation is fantastic. And I don't understand how the hell do they make these boxes that are so perfectly dimensioned that they're like tight, but they can still open. I don't even understand. It's not worth getting into, I guess. The manual per as usual, lovely looking, very professional, but still the instructions, as always, leave a lot to be desired. I hate to say it, but it's true. I want to say the best instruction manuals for resin conversion kits I've ever seen come from Universal Century or UC, the recasters. For some reason, they understand step-by-step -step instructions help you build this thing easier. 
but the Anchor T kits are meant for advanced modelers. Really advanced. Better than I am, I'd say. That's why I'm going to start off on some cheaper kits. They also give you some tips in here and recommendations for paint. Uh, I believe this is like a promotion for Gaia Notes resin wash. I happen to have some. Uh, you don't have to use Gaia Notes resin wash. Purple Power works pretty damn good, actually. Real well. The only problem is you don't want to get the Purple Power on your hands, especially for prolonged periods. Don't ask me how I know. The red indications in the instruction manual are the parts you're supposed to cut off, if I remember correctly. If you need a more in-depth understanding of how these instruction manuals work, especially with Anchor T slash Infinite Dimension, they're kind of the same, but they're slightly different, then you're going to have to talk to Dave's World on YouTube. Or just look him up on YouTube. That guy is an advanced modeler. He knows a lot about resin kit builds. He does tutorial videos every now and then. I wish he did more, more often, honestly. But uh, if you need better understandings of how these things work, that's the guy to check out. Nobody else really covers it as well as Dave's world does. Uh, Henry, Vegeta2988 or whatever the hell his name used to be, he has a pretty good on resin as well. So might be worth a look. It's always good to have at least a firm grasp or understanding of what you're dealing with, especially with these types of kits. And remember to wear a dust mask or your respirator when working with resin. If you inhale this stuff, it is not good for you at all. I've worked with resin half my life and fiberglass just never on model kits before so it's still very new to me now we're going to look at some of the decals they do have some custom decals for, Hyaku Sh for the hyaku shiki thank god and they also enclose the generic decals see these ones right here they're federation and crap and the lines in the back yeah those suck i've used them before they're very lackluster hopefully the ones made specifically for the hyaku shiki are better than the generic ones that you see in most kits from you know asia these days i've tried to substitute these things and was not pleased with them if not you could always buy like water slide decals actually off of uh ebay from the one good decal seller i can't remember his name please forgive me and replace the yakushiki ones if you want so there's there's nothing really limiting you here there's no real issue there and here are the resin parts themselves a lot of metal parts to be honest with you i uh don't know where they go just yet because these things are heavy duty. These are serious right here. This kit is just 100% top notch. I hope you like the new format for unboxings. I figured a sort of first person view of what you're looking at would be pretty cool for most of the things I'm working on. It'd be able to give people a better idea of what it looks like up close. Maybe clearer photos for you to see. Uh, some 3D rendering. Uh, some text callouts, the whole nine yards. Let's try and make this thing more professional than it's ever been, children. Overall, I'd like to say thank you to New Type HQ yet again because uh, these guys have shown me so much support on YouTube. I haven't seen this much support since Ridge Wallets, in all honesty. Like, those are the two sponsors I've ever gotten that went out of their way to do anything for me or think of me. And it speaks volumes of a company. You know, especially in a day and age where people tend to pick sides when it comes to Gunpla in this whole community in the West, which is weird, even when it comes to their vendors. I don't really know what to say about it, to be honest with you. New Type HQ is always done right by me. It's my favorite website for picking up Gunpla related stuff. It is my favorite site, bar none, for picking up tools. I think the greatest thing about New Type HQ is its tool set, and they are working towards creating a more modeler centric presence in the Western Gundam community that we have been lacking for years. That's why America stands absolutely no chance in the Gundam World Builders Cup because we don't really have the same mindset as the Eastern market when it comes to Gunpla. And we're finally getting a website that has their finger on that, the tools that they offer, resin kits. It's like they're truly trying to take Gunpla to the next level. Whereas to here in America, it's been treated like uh, children's toys. If you look at Gunpla reviewers, it's they always review them like toys. These things aren't toys. They're model kits. You know, it's not meant for children. And if someone doesn't know that and they give their kid one of these and it chokes on a V-fin, you know, who's to blame, honestly? I'm glad a site like New Type exists. Not solely because of what they've done for me. Even before 
you know, they started really sponsoring me heavily. I was checking out that site the second I became aware of it for the tools and my mind was blown. I thought to myself, Jesus Christ, why did it take someone so long to get these tools in America? And if you're anything like me, you spent weeks to months waiting for tools, going through Asian websites, trying to Google Translate, and now it's like a thing of the past. The other good thing about New Type HQ is if I come across a good tool or product, I can actually go to them and tell them what I think of it. And they'll actually look into it, which is fantastic. And they'll even come to me like, oh, we saw that you checked out this and this. What do you think of it? And I go, well, it's not bad. Here are the flaws. I don't know if it's worth getting or not. They actually take input from, you know, people who they're sponsoring, which is kind of crazy. You know, usually sponsorships are people send me something. I have to do a review for it. And usually if I have negative feedback, that's it. I'm done. New Type HQ isn't like that, which is fairly impressive. Oh, well, enough of my pontificating. I've really wasted your time on this. Well, back to video editing. I got a couple things planned that should be helpful for everybody who checks me out that's getting into Gunpla. I've sourced some pretty cool lenses. Well, they're not really lenses, but they're like these stickers that give the illusion of lenses. And these are far better than what Bandai supplies to you in your model kits. And I highly recommend them. I'm gonna get in that video as soon as possible. Many others. The camo tutorial's coming. That's also sponsored by New Type HQ. So hang in there. God, I suck at this when I'm trying not to curse and be myself.